So Carol is the head of year at Sydney Stringer Academy in Coventry. She's a personal story to share, one of the triumphs against the odds that will inspire you. Her speech is entitled, Giving Up Was Never An Option. Please give her a huge round of applause. She's right here. It's Carol, everybody. Put your hands up if you've ever faced a challenge in life and you felt like giving up. Okay. That was me most of my life until a certain situation happened and I was forced into the very topic that I'm going to be talking to you about, which is giving up was never an option. Winston Churchill once said, if you're going through hell, keep going. Well, my hell started on the 17th of March 2010 when I sat with my daughter aged 17 at the time in the cold clinical neurological consultants room and I sat there as a mother and any mother with true love you love your child you want the best for them but on that day I remember the clock ticking he leaned across to my daughter and he said, you have multiple sclerosis. And that's how slow it seemed. It seemed as though he was speaking in slow motion. It seemed like a life sentence because multiple sclerosis has over 60 symptoms ranging from blindness, to paralysis, to not being able to use your bladder, to cognitive problems. And there was I, as a mother, feeling helpless, unable to help my daughter. We discussed treatment options. How are we going to fix this? And I thought to myself, how much more could we go through as a family I'd had a really bad childhood with sexual abuse. I'd had a marriage where I suffered domestic violence, being thrown down the stairs, being called names. And yet here was I in a consultant's room being told that my daughter had this neurological disorder, incurable disease they call it. Three months later, my daughter lost the use of her legs. She couldn't walk. MS had taken its toll on her. And MS is basically your nervous system attacking itself. Not long after, she lost the sight. She couldn't see. She was blind. And I was told that she had the worst form of MS that they'd seen. I cried. I spoke to God. Where are you, God? I've been a Christian for all my life, but where were you, God? I had questions with no answers. But I remember looking at my daughter thinking, I love you, and I'm not going to accept what these doctors are telling me. They're telling me you're not going to walk again. They're telling me your eyesight probably won't return because that's how much the MS had taken control of her. But I tell you what, I've never prayed so much in my whole life. My faith got stronger. I began to research into MS. I began to look into different treatments. Holistic therapy. I changed the diet from normal eating to gluten-free, which is the elimination of wheat, because that has an impact on the body. Most of all, 
I showed her love despite all my problems, despite all my issues, my own personal battles, I put that to the side. And I started to fight, fight against my own demons. Because for me, I had to have hope that things were going to get better. And things got better. And if you believe, because self-belief is the most important fundamental thing we have, because without self-belief that things are going to get better, you're going to sink. I couldn't afford to sink. Not as a mother. A year passed. She was released from hospital. She'd spent the best part of a year in hospital. By this time, she's diagnosed with schizophrenia. More things started to happen. But there was a positive outcome to all of this. She started to fight because she saw me fighting. And one thing I want to encourage you here today with, at the beginning I asked if there's ever been a time when you felt challenged and you felt like giving up. And we've all been there. But giving up is not an option. Not when you love somebody, not when something matters to you. And it mattered to me that I fought for my daughter. Today she's healthier. She has a university degree. She's an entrepreneur. She's got the most amazing, beautiful heart. And she's a testimony. And I thank God for my faith. Because for me, giving up was never an option. And she's here today. Her name is Shona. Stand up, Shona. Thank you for listening.